Hello everybody, I miss Oksana and I wanted to tell you that we all miss you very much. Class 3D, Miss Saida and I miss you very much. You are our little angels and we miss hugging you. I hope we all are going to be together very soon. I, uh, I wanted to read a book to you about a monkey who is very curious, just like you. He always wants to discover something new. And today he uh, is going to a brand new store to see what he can find there. Are you ready to listen to the story? So let's go. The name of the book is Curious George Visits a Toy Store. The author that's who wrote the book is Margaret Ray. So let's see. Are you ready to start? So am I. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today was the opening of a brand new toy store. George and the man with the yellow hat did not want to be late. They didn't want to miss anything. So what is a toy store? A toy store, I'm sure you know. A store where you can get a lot of toys. At least you can look at them or choose something good for yourself. So let's see what happened in the story. Look at all these people that want, that want to see a brand new store. Can you see the monkey? Yeah, he's here. When they arrived, the line to go inside went all the way around the corner. When a line is this long, it's not easy for a little monkey to be patient. George sneaked through at the crowd. All he wanted was a peek inside. All he wanted is just to go all the way there. George got to the door just as the owner opened it. This is no place for a monkey, she said. So let's look. This is how the owner looks. And this is the, jo the monkey. George really wanted to go inside. But George was so excited he was already inside. What did he see there? Let's see what he saw there. Wow, so many toys. Balls, dolls, bicycles, and games fill the shelves. Look at him. Treasure. There were so many toys. George didn't even know how some of them worked. And how about these hoops? Do you see these hoops? A lot of them. What did they do? Do you know what hoops do? If you know, great. If you don't, let's, let's find out. George was curious. He climbed up to pull one out of the pile. It would not move. George pulled harder. Still, it wouldn't move. George pulled it with all force. Suddenly, there was a terrible crash. Wow, look at this. Red, blue, green, and yellow. All of those hoops bounced up and down and everywhere. Look, exclaimed a boy, bouncing up and down himself. 
Why haven't seen one of these in years, said the boy's grandmother. So the boy's grandmother is really familiar with the hoops. This is how they work. You just hula hoop them around your body. She put a hoop around her waist and gave it a spin. George tried the hula hoop too. Look at this. Then George pretended to be a wheel. Hmm, he looks pretty much like a wheel. He rolled and rolled and... Oops! He rolled right into the owner. The owner shook her head. I knew you were trouble, she said. Now you've made a mess of my new store. Was she happy? Probably not. Again she tried to stop George. And again George was too quick. Look at this. He ran away again. In only a second he was around the corner and on the highest shelf. I'm going to show you. So, so high. Below him, George saw a little girl point to a toy out of reach. Mommy, can we get the dinosaur? She asked. So, this girl wanted the dinosaur. Dinosaur was too high to reach, even for her mommy. George picked up the dinosaur and lowered it to the girl. She was delighted. So was the small boy next to her. Could you get that ball for me, please? He asked George. So this is how George gave the dinosaur to the girl. And this boy wanted the ball from the highest shelf, too. Look at this. Good job, George. George reached up, grabbed the ball, and bounced it to the boy. May I have that puppet way over there? asked another girl. Let's see where the puppet is. The puppet is right here. And the girl is right here. And George is here. So let's see how he is going to reach the puppet. How lucky that George was a monkey. Did you know that monkey could move really fast? using something that is hanging from the ceiling or tr a tree. So this is what he did. He swung off the shelf, hung on to a light, picked up the puppet and put it right into her hands. Look at this. This is what he did. Jumped, picked, handed in. Great job. What a show, shouted a boy. The children held up their new toys and cheered. What a commotion. Look how happy the kids are. They're very happy. Immediately the owner came running. And then came the man with the yellow hat. I think we've, we've had enough monkey business for one day. The owner frowned. She doesn't seem very happy. But look at all the, ki at the, all the kids. They are so happy. Let's look what happened later. Just then a girl got in the long line to pay. 
"What a great store!" she said. "What a great idea to have a little monkey helping you!" her father told the owner. "I guess you're right," the owner replied and smiled. Then she gave George a special surprise. "Thank you, George," she said. "My grand opening is a success because of you. Perhaps monkey business is the best business after all." So. The best thing about this store was that there was someone who helped the owner to sell all these toys, and also make all these kids happy. Even the owner in the end was happy, just because the result was great. Everyone was happy in the end. And this is what the George got as a surprise from the owner of the store. Hope you like the book. And there are many other stories about Curious George, and they're all very interesting. And um, I uh, would like to ask you to think of a favorite toy. I'm sure you have a lot of toys at home, but think of just one favorite toy. That you have at home that you love very very much, like playing with it, and um, think of um, all these things. Why you like that toy? How you got that toy? Who bought it for you? Who gave it as a present to you? Um, and also, what is special about that toy? If you don't remember how you got that toy, ask your parents. Your mom or dad ask how you got the toy, and、um, when I see you next time, I would like to hear all the stories about that favorite toy that you got somehow from your parents or grandparents or I don't know maybe Santa Claus.、Uh, it was very nice to read a story to you, and I'll see you next time. Wash your hands and stay safe. Bye.